Hello, so it's kind of a different intro, but figured I have problems with the tripod, so it wants to like do this. So you can see the shirt I'm talking about, um, but anyways, uh, welcome back to another episode of Time Capsule Musings. This is my thoughts on a challenge I did about a month ago. Uh, I haven't been filming as many videos, we've been really busy with our house, trying to get it done. Um, so that's kind of like taking the priority. A lot of the videos I've been posting lately are done on my lunch breaks and they're done in advance. So I just kind of scatter them out. So like there's at least some content for the people that watch my videos. But anyways, back to my thoughts on uh, this challenge. So if you go to Quaker Steak and Lube and I'll show a picture of what the place looks like in case you're not familiar. I don't think they have branches everywhere yet. Uh, but, you know, they're at least in the Midwest. Uh, it's it's a restaurant. Looks like a garage. Pretty interesting, actually, uh, how it looks in there. It's it's gimmicky, but, you know, they have a really good mac and cheese burger my wife likes. Um, they got some other interesting food combinations. And they've gotten the spicy game uh, quite a while ago. They got in with the triple atomic wings back in the day. Well, now they have the scorpion i think it's venom wings which is also called the eat heat level and it's a challenge if you eat um six of their wings with the scorpion venom sauce on them and is it a challenge by heat level yes uh is it the hottest thing i've ever had at a restaurant um thus far yes yeah it's it's the hottest thing I've ever had, you know, it's way hotter than the Diablo Dare sandwich from Arby's. Way hotter than any spicy nuggets, spicy sauces like that. Actually, the the closest thing to it um, is when I went to Hocking Hills. Uh, There's a place called the Hungry Buffalo, and they had a dead buffalo sauce, which had ghost pepper chilies in it. And it wasn't a challenge. It was just their hottest level of sauce. And that was the second hottest thing I've ever had. And that was actually quite tasty. I got some to go with me when we went there uh, to you know, use later on on different things. It was, it was really good. Uh, so anyways, back to why do I think it's really a challenge? Yes and no. So if you eat the wings without drinking anything or dipping them in anything or eating anything with them, you know, all in a row is fairly quick, you know, not per se a time limit, but like you eat them, then that's a challenge. Uh, however, when I asked him, I said, well, what kind of rules is there? Because I've, I've done the blazing wing challenge at Buffalo Wild Wings. You know, you have to eat them a certain amount of time. They have a timer. They watch you do it. You can't eat or drink anything with it. So I figured, you know, there's some rules. They said, you just got to eat them. And they walked away. They proceeded to walk away. So in my mind, I mean, obviously I didn't, I didn't cheat, but if people wanted this shirt, they could, you know, like rip the meat off the wings and stick them in their purse or roll up them in a napkin. Um, then also you can dilute the heat a little bit with dipping them in. They give they give you a choice of uh, blue cheese or ranch, or you could eat them with something else. There there really is no rules. You could take drinks with it. They're not watching you, and they said all you have to do is eat them. You could take all day to eat them, just nibble on them. There's no time limit. Uh, so in a way, that kind of lessens the challenge for others that they actually do it without, you know, drinking anything or adding stuff to them or eating them along with anything, uh, you know. And also, if you take all day to eat them, you kind of like, you know, spread out your heat level doesn't ramp up. Um, I don't know. I it's kind of like one of those things. It's like it's a gimmick. It gets people in. It gets people to try things. And also, I could have swore they're supposed to take your picture and put it on their website. This, the chain I went to, uh, was in Columbus. Uh, they didn't take their picture. My picture didn't put it on their website. You know, obviously, don't put it on a, a wall or anything. Didn't even take your name down to put it on the board. Like Buffalo Wild Wings will take your name down, I think, and it goes along the bottom banner for a day or however long uh, of whoever did the challenge that day. They did nothing like that. You know, it doesn't go in a wall of fame or a wall of flame. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything like that. So I think they could do better uh, with it. Maybe institute some sort of criteria, you know, can't, 
so apparently you're supposed to sign a release form and there is a wall of flame the location I was at didn't do it but I don't still know about rules time limit I would say you know if they allow the buffalo or blue cheese or uh, ranch with it in my opinion it, doesn't, it probably won't lessen the heat that much um, and you dip wings in it anyways maybe allow that uh, but like eating it with anything else, taking all day to do it, taking drinks of anything, I don't know. I, and also they should monitor it because like if somebody just wanted a t-shirt, I mean you technically are paying for the t-shirt because the wings cost more for those six wings. It's like, I think it's $13.99 or $15.99 for six wings. So I think the price of the t-shirts included in those wings, I think if you get six wings normally it's not that expensive, I'm pretty positive. I didn't price up the other wings when I was there. But yeah, that, that's my thoughts on that. Um, let me know in the comments if you agree, disagree. Be like, well, as long as I ate them, whether I, you know, smothered them in mac and cheese, does it count, you know, or uh, used a gallon of ranch and coated them, or I scraped all the sauce off them, it's on my plate, and I just ate the meat. You know, like, if, that, if you count that as doing the challenge, then let me know, but... Um, I think it should just be more straightforward. I don't think it should have be so open-ended. And the sauce was actually quite tasty. I will add that too. The, it was really good for being that hot. So I think they had extract and it said capsaicins added to it. it didn't say extract, but I think it said capsaicin. Um, you know, it's got scorpion chilies in it. It's called it scorpion venom. Um, and it's got blueberries in it. And it's it is quite good for as hot as it is. I still got the flavor profile, even though the heat was quite, quite intense. Because it been, I haven't been doing challenges very often anymore. I'm kind of getting away from it, you know, doing other things. But I had done the Tuba Terra 3.0 a half dumb with my brother-in-law. And then I waited like four or five months. And then I did the Pocky One Chip that came out this year. And then it had been five or six months since I had done a challenge. And then I did that one. And that got me... It affected me worse than the Pocky Chip. I, my nose was running, my eyes were watering, my lips were on fire, my gums were on fire. Um, I started later on to get almost stomach cramps from it, from those six wings. So it is it is legit as far as heat goes. Um, just the other stuff with it needs to change, in my opinion, or be some sort of rules. But, I mean, it is a restaurant, it is a gimmick, it is a way for them to sell wings for even more money. It's for your average person also. It's well, not... yeah, it, true, it is for your average person, but if everybody can do it because they're adding stuff to it, then is it a challenge? Right. If they're, like, sticking their wing meat on their cheeseburger to eat it, is it even a challenge anymore? Yeah. That's my point. Like, yeah... It, by all means, like, this is meant for people from the street to do it. However, I've done challenges before, and just eating those wings by themselves, even taking a break, it affected me worse than taking a break and doing the Pocky Chip. Do Taking a break and doing that Pocky Chip barely affected me. I mean, I think my, I think I got hiccups from it, and that was about it. Nothing else. Uh, but taking a break and then doing that wing challenge, that affected me. Like, I... Like, my nose was running, my eyes were watering, my mouth was on fire, my lips were on fire, and my stomach started to, like, almost, like, get cramps later on. Um, affected me on the toilet the next day. You know, it, it did all that. So, it is a challenge as far as that goes. And if a normal person can eat those wings without drenching them in mac and cheese or whatever, uh, or drinking a ton of Coke or milk with it, then more power to them that's that's pretty impressive but yeah i i i don't know i i just think certain things it'd be like say you uh enter a marathon but you write they say well we all you gotta do is cross the finish line so then you get on your bicycle and do it when you're supposed to be running something like that that that's how i look at it i mean i might be over analyzing but it's my thoughts it's just you know, maybe gets the conversation going. Uh, you know, everybody everybody is a critic in certain ways. Everybody has their opinion on certain things. 
and that's mine on that. Uh, like I said, leave the comments down below. If you agree, disagree, uh, you know, if it does, it doesn't even matter, you know, to you, whatever. And I'll get back to you. Until next time, take care.